Okay, it's been a couple of weeks since I did a video, so I actually had a request this week where someone asked me, how can I get the weights of the staunchions in my monowheels handrail to reflect what they actually are? So what I did was I thought, well, hang on, this is a perfect opportunity for me to use Dynamo. So you can see here, I've got all the weights of the particular posts. Now, what I've done is, again, I've used a CSV file and I have got the name of the part and the actual weight in grams for the weight of each component, right? Now, what I'm doing is I want to go and look at the commodity code, right? Which is here and compare that to my list of um, properties so if I look here you can see I have a PB there's a PB therefore the weight should be 4750 grams so how does this work well I have two streams of data here in my script right first of all the select all elements component then I also have the, the getting of the data from the CSV. So let's explain this first. So what have I done? Well, I have browsed to the location of where my CSV file is. I've transposed it, okay? Um, brought in a list. Now, because there's technically two columns, there will be two lists, so I've then split the lists into the first list and the second list. Now this could obviously be done in a number of different ways, but this is the way I chose to do it. Then I've removed the first value of that list, right? So why did I do that? If we bring back our list, you can see I've got the title part, then the name, then the name, then the name. So I don't want this title, but I need the title in there for me when I'm editing the file. You could probably remove the title and then you could remove this step as well. The other thing that I'm doing is from the uh, title, I am just removing any trailing white space, just in case, right? I'm then taking the, the values component together with the titles component, and I'm creating a dictionary, right? So if I just, let me just take this out here, and let's go and remove, let's go and remove this component here, and this component here. All right, so if I run this, you can see it's created me a dictionary of that data, same as what you saw before in in here, right? But just m turned it into a sortable method or a searchable method to allow me to find the information clearly later on, right? The other thing you'll notice is the, the selection component has found for me a bunch of special parts from the model, right? So I selected everything in the model and said, only filter me special parts. It's got those special parts. I've then gone through and said, get the item number from the um, from the from each object. And you can see, if I just pin this here, there's all the item numbers, right? Again, I've, got to, I've, I've taken the value of the property and I've trimmed any white space at the end of it, right? So what I'm now doing is I'm then saying, well, look, let's take the dictionary and the first column is called a key and the second, value, uh, the second column is the actual value. So it's saying, get me the value that matches the key, right? So where the key is equal to PB, go and get me 4,750, right? Then take that value and turn it into a new property for the weight of that object, right? So let's connect this back up again. 
going to put this into here. Let's take the this component here. Let's hope I didn't mess this up. Click. All right. And then I go run again. Okay, so it's finished. So it's finished running. So let's go and have a look in here. And we can see our weight is now 4.7 um, uh, kilos, right? Because it was 47.50, right? If I go and look at, let's say, the, the H, HCB, right? The HPZ is... 2.78 because 2777 rounds to 2.8 and so on and so forth right so again you know this is a method for me to automate things and you could use this for any special parts i'm just using the monowheels staunching here as an example